has poured just about all night long. It finally has quit. So I am hauling the last of my hay. My husband was awesome. He hauled me hay everywhere for the week, except in the barn. He only gave me enough hay for one day. So that covered yesterday. So I am hauling hay for today. Uh, no babies. I think we're down to three ewes um, and like six days, five days. So we'll see. Um, I'll give them, like I said, a week after because you kind of get like a three day give or take from this, from your starting date and your ending date um, because sometimes they come early and sometimes they come late. So I, I like to give myself a little bit of buffer there, but absolutely nothing happening today. I have got, I have got a bunch of office stuff to do, but, um, I do have one you that I think is rejecting her lamb. The one that came in yesterday when I was feeding the, um, uh, maternity pen, I watched that lamb try to go to mom and her like butt it with her head. All right, all the feeding is done. The lambs are all fed. Water is done. Oh, it quit raining again. I need to head to the dairy barn to, well, we have um, the plywood in there trying to dry it out. So I need to go turn the heat off, but leave the fan on and I have a lot of new subscribers. Thank you. I appreciate you being here. So I figured I'd give you a quick tour since I was heading over there anyway. Um, it's been probably, oh, a while, a year or so since I've actually done a tour in there other than being in there for milking last year, which I don't remember if I recorded the little bit we did. Anyway. So we have the hallway and you'll have to forgive the mess. We do have fish tanks in here because my husband's obsessed. He's planning on, um, we have a hose that attaches here and then we can spray everything down and he's gonna clean them and sell them. But we have our stanchions so this is the door the sheep go out. This is the door. My husband built all of this, by the way, except for these. We bought those. But the rest of this he built. Um, so anyway, they come in. This door here raises up. And so then the sheep come in here, up the ramp, and they go into their little spots. As you can see, I have no head catches on any of them because uh, we had renters in here that broke them and then didn't tell us. And we didn't find out until they were very long gone and we tried milking. And I'm not saying it was a disaster, but it, um, it was a challenge. It definitely took two of us, but we do have um, 
automated milker. So we have a air compressor in the utility room. And then we go ahead and put our, we have just milk stands, milk that go on to here. And then we milk right here, sheep here. Then when they're done, they go out through here. Down the ramp right there. And then they come out here and then back out through that door. So we have, and here is our, oh boy, it's hot in here. Yep, he's right. We definitely need to turn the heat off. Okay, heat off, fan is still on, but we have our bulk tank that eventually the milk will go into. Uh, we haven't been using it yet because we haven't milked enough to put into there. We just milk into these cans. And then uh, we put, them in, put the milk into a bucket that I usually take to the house and make cheese right away. But over here, oh, they are drying though. This will eventually be my processing room. Uh, we built this on, oh, let's see, two, three years ago. And I have my cheese vat, and that's basically all I got. I mean, I have tables and stuff outside, but yeah, this room just basically needs finished. It's, um, it's a work in progress until I'm ready to sell milk, sorry, sell cheese, not milk. I won't be doing fluid milk. Um, I'm not terribly, terribly worried about it yet. Okay. So, oh, did I shut that door? No. Okay. So yeah, this is, this is the milking barn in all its glory. Okay, what are you two doing? Oh, it's a bunny rabbit. Here, leave the bunny alone. Get over here. That's a big bunny rabbit. Okay, I... I think that's all I have to do down here. I need to feed the feedlot, but I'm going to, where it's still kind of trying to rain, I think I'm gonna wait a little bit and just feed them, you know, four or five o'clock tonight. And then that way the hay won't get, won't get any wetter than it already is. You mad at me? Hmm? I took their blankets because um, they stink and they needed washed. And so they're both very mad at me. Hey sis. Chirp, you're not helping. But yeah, she's not happy. He's not happy. I still have to clean the bottom but I was just trying to get the top done and so I took all their blankets and now they're not happy. I know, you're not happy. You want jelly bean? Here, you want jelly bean? Sis, I'd give you one, but you'll bite my finger off. Well, that is not ideal. A little bit of rain, a little bit of hail, a little bit of snow. Yeah. Not what I was hoping we were going to get today. It is just flat out pouring.
just checking. I never see you nurse, but you seem fat and you're not gone. And you got a full belly. So you must be nursing, just not when I'm here. That's okay. Well, it finally turned out to be a decent day. The sun is shining and the rain has quit and it's fairly warm. I forgot I had a meeting today. Sorry, my phone here, let's, I can stand here. Okay, that's a little better. Um, I forgot I had a meeting at 5.30 tonight, so I came down early to make sure I can get everything fed and watered, and I forgot to water these guys this morning, so I need to get them done tonight. Still no lambs. Still should be down to three ewes. So hopefully they will get with the program by this weekend. Um, yeah, just, just let her nurse. So I have been basically in the office almost all day trying to trying to basically figure out what spring is going to entail and so far I need to pull the tire off of the baler it baby I'm coming I'm just working my way down the line so I have to pull pull a tire off the baler and get it fixed because I am not going to go through what last year entailed trying to get that thing aired up out back every time I wanted to bale some hay so I need to take it off and get it fixed and then probably bring both the tractor and the baler in and kind of give them a run through make sure the tractor has fuel and the baler should realistically be good to go. It was working when we parked it. So I am hoping that that will not be an issue. Uh, we still need to get the header switched on the swather. And then I need to disc the cornfield uh, in hopes to plant corn. We're still debating. I would prefer to do corn He's going back and forth between corn and barley. And I'm wondering about planting the field across the creek back into hay for this year. We'll see. Um, there, there's a lot of up in the air stuff going on. All done? All done? Okay, good girl. 